guys, I'm back. It's 2021 and um, you know, it's been a rough past year. It's been tough for people. Um, now, I I want to say shout out to you guys who've kept going strong and stayed positive. We will find a resolution to this very soon. I believe we will get past it and everything will go back to normal. Everyone is working on it. So let's stay positive for 2021. If you are wondering um, how to make friends during 2021, and worse, how to make friends in your 30s, that's what I wanna talk about. That's exactly what this video will cover. Um, it's something that I've done myself at that age, and it's something that I continue to do with or without um, the crisis that is going on worldwide. So let's get started. First, I wanna say uh, making friends is always difficult, but especially in your 30s, because um, it's not only awkward, like it's just, you know, it's not, you're not a little kid at the playground anymore, going to the sandbox and saying, hey, wanna be my friend? It's not that easy anymore. But other than that, there's a bunch of reasons, which I covered in an old blog post that I'm gonna cite. Um, it's called Growing Pains and Making New Friends, very appropriately. I do say so myself. Um, okay, so the number one reason it's hard to make friends in your 30s is that people are in fact just busy. Everyone is busy, 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 busy. Most people aren't great at multitasking. I mean, maybe you are one of the few, but I know it's hard to even remember to text friends back when you have a, a job and other demands and maybe even a spouse like and children. Um, sometimes you gotta take care of a house too. I mean, who's gonna mow the overgrown lawn? Who would go folding that laundry that you've had piling up all week? And so it's hard to just go out for happy hour one night when you have so many responsibilities. Responsibilities. So let's start there, first of all. Another reason is that it's a struggle. It's a struggle to make friends because sometimes, um, like I said, people are busy, but they're also thinking about those things. They're thinking about bills and the family in no particular order. And so another reason that people might not want to get together is that they want to relax. They want to be alone at home and just relax by themselves, no, be unbothered by the world and everyone in it. They just want to be alone. Honestly, at some point, at most weekends, that's exactly what I'm going to do is relax in my pajamas. That's one thing I've kept going in 2021. Excuse my dog. He's just playing with his friend right now and they make a lot of noise. Anyway, let's keep going. Another good reason is that uh, friends often... So in your 30s, people look for friends that have common interests, okay? Or something similar to you because... Let's face it, we already have to see people that we have nothing in common with and we love, aka our family. So let's see, why would you want a friend? Because you wanna choose a person that you relate to, that you can vent with, that you can hang out and do the same things you like with. So if you don't have similar interests or similar hobbies, it's hard to make friends out there. And for women, I think it's especially hard because it's not only the interests, it's even stages of life. Like I have some single friends, I have married friends, I have friends who have a baby now and we're all over the place. But it's hard to have anything in common anymore because, you know, when you're single, you're wilding out, you're partying, you're, you know, going out on the prowl, um, trying to get some guy's number and that's not me anymore because I'm married. So it's, it's weird to not have that in common and not be able to go out and do those things in common. And I'm sure like when I become a mom, I, I'll only want to hang out with like mommy friends, you know, it, it just changes as your stages of life change. Now that's not to say I'm going to dump all my friends in come a few years. No, no, I still want to keep in touch with everyone regardless of whether, where they are in life because I love them. But it's going to be more difficult working around kid play dates or I don't know, babysitters and so many more responsibilities, you know? It's so, it's easy to hang out with people who are in similar stages of life or who have similar interests. Maybe you have that one thing in common that you love to do. So what I wanna say to that point is, yes, that is one of the ways you can make friends in your 30s is find an activity, 
find something in common with lots of people, whether it be cycling at your local gym, volunteering, find a volunteer group. It feels great to volunteer, honestly. Um, it could also be um, going to an art class, anything like that where you have a group of people that are a captive audience and you can just talk to them uh, on a weekly basis. I promise, promise you, if you talk to every single pe person in there, you will make at least one friend outside of class or work or whatever it is because you, you have to have a consistent routine and, and see that person more than once to become a friend, to even make a friendship or to even build interest. So the best thing is just to sign up for something, a class or a workout that you see people that are very consistent because eventually you will make a friend. Um, I mean, if you don't already make friends at work, because I think that's the second way I would say is how to make friends in your 30s. Of course, you can meet people at your job. You can make friends with your coworkers. You don't always get to pick your coworkers. So that's the tough part is that you may or may not like that person, but you probably have to see them pretty much every day. So it's gonna be tough if you don't like them. Um, you might as well try to grab like a happy hour after lunch. I mean, after work or whatever, <laughs> like not during work hours, please. We don't wanna encourage that. Um, the point is that you want to talk to people who um, are in your vicinity or people that can you can create a routine with. So either coworkers that you see anyway, you have to see these people, might as well ask them out on a friend date or just, you know, join a class, join a group. Um, I know that there's tons of meetups online. I've used that before, before 2020, I mean, to go out and go out, do different things. There's meetups for surfing. Uh, there's meetups for yoga. I mean, if you don't like the outdoors, there's book clubs, guys. There's book clubs on meetups that you can join and really get to know other women your, um, your age or older or younger. It doesn't have to be your age. Um, I think the third main way that I've made friends, and this one worked for me even before 2020, is online. I'm a very techie person, so I really only make friends like as I meet through the internet. <laughs> Sounds really weird. <laughs> Probably weird for me, for people. But um, yeah, I mean, I've met tons of people online that I really, really like because I think I'm very picky with who I associate myself with only because I want to be comfortable and I want to have a connection to that person. I like quality friendships, you guys. So I have chatted up people on Facebook and all of a sudden we're friends and we're messaging every other day and Skyping. Or, um, and it's literally people that I saw comment on Facebook groups. So if you don't know what that is, there's this thing called Facebook groups, Google it, it's great. You can join based on interest or even memes. I don't know, you can join, there's Facebook groups for everything. There's Facebook groups for politics. And you can find a person that comments things that you like consistently and just start liking them, start engaging, start liking their comments um, every other day. And eventually you can friend them and say, hey, how are you? I really liked your comments on so-and-so post. And then it go from there. It just builds a conversation. Oh, my dog is crazy. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So like I was saying, um, I love meeting people online. I think it's safe and healthy when you're older and adult and you can handle that responsibility. So don't let your kids on there. Okay. Anyways, that's my rant. But yes, for as far as 30 year olds and up, it's totally fine. It's not weird. I promise. Most 30 year olds feel isolated. Most 30 year olds feel like they don't connect to people in their life currently. So they are happy to answer your message. Trust me, you cannot imagine how many people I've spoken with that were like, thank you for reaching out. I, I don't know how to make friends on here. I haven't talked to anyone. Please, like I'm dying. I, I'm, I'm sure my husband is sick of me because I all I do is hang out with him. And I'm like, please, I'm sure you're fine, but I would love to be your friend because um, I tried all of these friendships uh, apps too that helped me make IRL or in real life, as the kids say these days, uh, friendships. So if you download any of these apps, like, hey, Vina, I, I know I tried um, Bumble BFF was honestly the best, like in my opinion, and I'm not paid advertisement for this at all, but I seriously met some wonderful, wonderful friends on there. Um, there is a friendship mode and a date mode, 
be very careful with that because I messed that up in the beginning and was like, what? <laughs> like, I am not in the dating pool. Don't be sending me your dick pics. <laughs> like, I'm not looking for that. So I switched it to friendship mode. And then I got a lot of great girls, you know, and you, you have to match. So I swiped right and they swiped right, which means we both approve or whatever. We want to speak to each other and we just say, hey, what's up? You know, nice to meet you. I'm looking for friends. You you want to go out and get a cup of coffee? Um, and that's when you meet. Now, in 2021, of course, it'll be a cup of virtual coffee where I'll send them like a Zoom meeting and we'll just like, I don't know, like FaceTime or whatever. Uh, what's it called? Video conference, our first meetup. So it can be very awkward, especially during these times to try to make friends. But it is especially hard to make friends in your 30s at the point where you have all of these difficulties I mentioned in the beginning. And for me personally, most of my friends from college, to be honest, moved away because they no longer wanted to stay in Florida. Yeah, Florida's not the best, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, but yeah, like I just I just absolutely made these amazing connections that I wish people knew about if they just tried it. It's not weird. You don't just meet people that are catfishing you or that live in the basement of their mom's house or that are serial killers. You really don't. I mean, you have to go, you know, thinking that way and being kind of careful, but you want to give people a chance because sometimes these are people that are actually wanting to put effort into a friendship and they just don't have the opportunity. So the fact that they're looking for what you're looking for, your interests already align because all you want is some company. So you're willing to do that for each other. I highly recommend. Um, so I would say those are the three main ways you can make friends as an adult or uh, in your 30s, um, which will be, yes, um, number one, it would be anyone in your vicinity. So like try to join a local group, local community, um, volunteer, join a fitness class, things like that. Number two, of course, at work. And finally, the whole online friendships, Facebook groups, meetups, uh, Bumble BFF, like I said, and it's a good one. I hope I said that in the right order, you guys. Hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching again. And you guys are amazing. You rock. I love you. Bye.